Hi everybody, my name is Matt Christofferson. I'm one of the sales engineers over here at Sweetwater. I've actually been a lighting designer for the last uh, 13 years and I'm here to show you the basics of DMX. I know it seems very intimidating to most people at first from my experience, so that's why we're doing this video. I'm gonna help you understand what DMX is, and we're gonna be able to apply that to your application and explain what the types of connections, the cables, and then I'm gonna show you how to address your lighting fixtures, and then we're gonna talk about lighting channels, and then I'm gonna show you a quick demo at the end. Let's jump into it. So what is DMX exactly? I wanna get really nerdy here for about 30 seconds, then we'll jump into the really cool stuff. So DMX is actually an acronym for Digital Multiplex. It's a standard universal language and communication protocol that is used to remotely control your intelligent lighting fixtures through a DMX lighting controller. This allows you to send data information down a single line of cable to the lighting fixtures through pulses of low voltage electricity. So there are two types of DMX connections. There are three pin and there are five pin. Most standard for the last couple of years was three pin, and then the industry got together and decided to make a five pin connection, which is gonna make it universal. The reason why they did this is because some people were using microphone cables. I will tell you right now, please do not use microphone cables when you are doing lighting. It, they do have a different impedance. So always make sure that you're gonna be using DMX three pin connection if you're using that. Three pin connections, you'll probably find most on mobile DJ type connections nightclubs, maybe houses of worship. Five pin connections you'll actually see more common on professional, more high-end type fixtures. This would uh, be something more like theme parks, maybe high-end nightclubs will use those as well. Three pin connection is going to have three different types of connections. There's a negative, a positive, and a ground. A five pin connection is gonna have the same thing, but there's gonna be two negative and two positives as a backup system. So five pin connections, you'll actually see more on installation type stuff. Uh, during a concert, maybe sometimes you won't have the option to actually change out a fixture if there's going down. So you actually need that fail safe with five pin connections. DMX, you might often hear some of these lighting fixtures as intelligent fixtures. So back in 1970, uh, when they developed AMX or analog multiplex, that would give you one channel per fixture and either basically on or off. And basically that fader is controlling the voltage to the incandescent fixture. Now we have the digital multiplex and intelligent lighting fixtures. Each one of these intelligent fixtures has a set number of channels per fixture and each one is gonna have a set number of channels or attributes. I do encourage you to read the manual just because each light is gonna be different from each manufacturer. So for this video, I'm actually just gonna use these uh, as an example. This is the Chave Slim Par Pro H and this one has up to 12 channels. For right now, I'm actually just gonna use it in a very simple mode into a six channel mode, which is just gonna make things very simple just for this demonstration. I'll get into how these channels are gonna come into play in just a moment, but first we need to address the lights. So more than likely, you're gonna be using more than just one fixture. And when programming some of these cases, you're gonna be able to address or you need to be able to talk to each one of these fixtures individually. So just like your home uh, has an address, uh, I'm gonna give you an analogy of controller being the mailman, and the mailman has a package that he's gonna be delivering to you. He's gonna be delivering information. So on that package, there's a unique address of where to send that information to. So right now, I'm gonna go back to this fixture and we're gonna address this to 001, or in this particular case, it's gonna be D01. So on the back of this fixture, this one is set to D1, which means address number one. If I hit the up or down arrows, you can see that it has 512 and then it goes down all the way to zero and I'll go back to one. So I want to set this one to one. And as you can see here, this has six channel mode. This particular fixture actually has 12. So if I scroll through here, it'll go to seven. It'll go through 12. I'm going to scroll through here and make sure that it's set to six channel mode. Hit enter. So now that we've actually set this light to a six channel mode, 
we're going to use the same analogy. And in that same address, there's going to be six people that live at this address. Each one of these people has a different job function. One is going to cook, two is going to clean, so on and so forth, using that perspective. So channel one on this fixture, if I slide up channel one on the fader, this is going to be red. If I slide up channel two, that's going to be green. Again, this fixture has six channels, so three blue, four amber, five white, six UV. You could probably better see that on my hand, or in this case, my glasses. So real quick, I'm just going to take a moment. I'm going to show you how to address them and how that works in the DMX universe. More than likely, you're probably going to be using multiple fixtures when you're doing lighting. Sometimes you're probably going to want to have individual control over each fixture. So I'm going to show you how that works into what we call the DMX universe. The DMX universe consists of 512 channels. We printed this out just to, for this kind of an application so you can visually see I'm a visual person myself. The first fixture we have set at six channel mode. So that means we're going to take six channels of the universe. And I'll kind of show you in two different color highlights. That way you can follow along with me. So the first fixture is set to channel six. That's going to take up six channels in the DMX universe. The next fixture, the open channel, is channel seven. So if this one is set at channel six, I'm going to want to set this one to channel seven. And I'll show you how to do that on the back of the fixture. Again, you're going to want to read the manual of how to do this because each fixture is different. This is just for the example. So this one is now set to channel seven. So that means it's going to take up the next six channels here. So that's going to take up 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I had a third fixture, that's going to take up another six channels in our, in our universe. So that's going to take up 13 through 18. So that's three fixtures taking up six channels each in a full universe of 512. So now that I've actually programmed them individually, I'm just going to go through each one independently. Channel one is going to be red. Notice how this one is not moving because we've set that to a different channel. So if I go to, remember the first fixtures taking up the first six channels. So the next free channel is going to be number seven. So if I slide up number seven, that's going to change the color in the background over here. And now if I bring up a different color, you can see how I have independent control over each fixture. This is just the Obey 10 from Chave. If I wanted to page over, then that becomes channel 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's blue, amber, white, UV. This is how we can have individual control over each one. So just to reiterate, just kind of bring this all up into one package. The signal connection that you're doing for everything is all daisy chained down one line. So you're basically going out of the controller into the first fixture, to the DMX in, DMX out, DMX into the, the next fixture. And if we had to bring this back to the analogy, this is where the mailman comes into play. So the first six channels I'm only delivering to this fixture with that information and then the next six channels I'm delivering to this address with this location. So right now I just showed you one application of how to control your lights through a hardware. There's also software and nowadays you can also do it wirelessly. If you have any other additional questions of how it works for you and your application, please call your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thank you so much for your time. I hope the video was helpful to you and please make sure to like, subscribe and comment on the video and check out sweetwater.com for more information.